So you want to know how to create an audio reactor. So I'm going to show you how to create an NCS style audio reactor. First, you'll need a editing software that can create special effects like Adobe After Effects. And you're going to need trap code form from Red Giant. And let's see, you want to make a new comp any, any, you know, 1080p or 720p, whichever you want it. I got mine at 30 FPS. You can do 60 FPS if you've got the time on your hands, but I really don't. So, let's see. Let's see. So, you, now you want to make a solid. You want to keep it like that. And now you want to type in form and get trap code form add it onto there want to create the base form let's uh let's do 500 let's do the size wide 500 yeah let's make it a bit more a bit larger yeah that that works size z zero and particles will want a lot more. So let's do 400 particles in the X and 400 particles in the Y. And now you pretty much got a whole solid thing of just particles. So now that that's out of the way, you want to go to the particle. We want it to be a sphere. You can mess around with it. You can make it a cloudlet, stuff like that. But, you know, right now you can't really tell what it's going to look like until we actually finish it. So, let's keep the size at 1, pass me 100, let's change the color to a nice light blue. Yeah, that works. And we want to go to, let's see, we, what, oh wait, we need a background first for it to actually look all right. Don't want to just have the audio reactor. And we need a track of music or audio. It can react to just talking and stuff if you feel like that. You want to go to audio layer for, from audio react and make it track your music track. I am doing the fat rat, the calling. <clears throat> And now we're going to go to the reactor one. We're going to change the width to 20 and the strength to 100. It's already there. The map fit to fractal. And we're going to keep it at this direction. Now we're going to go to reactor two. We are going to change its width to 65 and its strength to 20. So it will have some variation when it's reacting and we are going to map it to size. So it will change shape and size as it reacts. <clears throat> and that's all we're going to do for the react. Now we are going to go to fractal field. And we are going to change the displace value to 50. And then the flow Y value to negative, say 200. And see, now it's starting to react. I think that's, I can make some mess around with this. Yeah, let's just do regular noise. Don't need to do anything too, too fancy. And now for spectral field, I mean, <laughs> spherical field. We are going to change strength to 100. Oh, look, there's a circle now. Wow. And we're going to change its radius. Let's do that. 430. Okay. 400. Now that's small. Let's do 100, maybe. Big. 40. Yeah, that's good. And let's see what it looks like.
So as you can see, there's lots of different types of audio reactions you can create, and it's pretty cool.